a shark like friggin' body slammed me in my side. Like that, that was a that was a sailboat in the moonlight and you wouldn't that be heaven oh heaven just for two a soft breeze on a June night and you what a perfect setting for letting dreams come true So it's been four months of travel, and uh, today is the first time we're snorkeling in gin clear water. Well, Isn't that why we came here? Yeah, I don't know if that's it's that clear today because it is a bit windy. I think it gets clear actually. Rum clear water. Oh, rum clear. <laughs> we were joined by our friends Ben, Tamby, and Molly Clardy, YouTube celebrities from the sailing vlog Sailboat Story. The harbor at Petite Key is a combination of coral flats and breaks that open up into the Atlantic. Within these breaks there's a lot of swell, a lot of waves, but also a lot of fish. Ben and I focused on these breaks while the girls snorkeled in the flats. Because I didn't have any fins, I was unable to cope with the swell that was there, so I'd returned to shore. Tambi and I noticed a commotion at the break. Well, we're, uh, we're all just walking out to a little rocky outcrop here. Ben's been spear fishing and uh, kind of disappeared for a while. And, uh, then all of a sudden we see him getting kind of chased out of the water by something and no spear in his hand anymore and we we're wondering if maybe maybe uh, something wanted his fish more than he did. So Tammy uh, and Molly and Debbie are following along here but Ben's just coming up. We're going to get the story from him. What happened? Big freaking shark snatched my, my yellowtail snapper and my spear. No way. He was, I went back out there yeah. just to see if he might have dropped it. And he, it was still, it was still in his mouth. And he just got out there too deep. I kept yeah. hoping he would drop it, drop it, drop it. And he, he never did, so. Oh my goodness. Gone. So well, that's an experience. A, bit, a, a shark like friggin body slammed me in my side. Like that, that was a, that was a, kind that was of a shark? big ass shark is what it was. But I, I mean, I felt something. It felt like a, like a punch in the side. And I was like, what the heck is that? I dropped the spear and it was just kind of thrashing around in the water there for a couple of seconds. What was it? You got hit by a shark? Did you have a Yeah, I had fish? a, yeah. I had a, a yellow tail snapper, like a good size one. And he wanted it. <laughs> oh no. So well, was it a nurse shark, do you think? Out there somewhere, no. I, I, when I went back out there, I, I was thinking, okay, this slim chance, but I was hoping the spear was like just dropped somewhere. And then I, I saw the shark still dragging the spear around. He just ended up going out there deeper than what I'm comfortable with. That's too much, eh? You all right? Yeah, I'm ticked off about the spear. <laughs> oh my God, Ben, how's the adrenaline level? Oh, uh, there was pretty high there for a second. I like I, I pulled out the knife, thinking I was we were gonna duke it out. <laughs> we saw you like freaking out. Yeah. Did you see the splashes? You came yeah. dancing yeah. out of the. Was that the shark going yeah. at the, well, the fish? I felt something big just hit me right here in the side, and so I dropped the spear because I thought, figure, well, that's, that's got to be a shark. <laughs> I dropped the spear and that son of a gun was like, it was only water like maybe two feet deep. Really? What kind of shark was it? I don't know, it wasn't a nurse shark. It was a, it was a bull legit, shark it, was a, it was a legit shark. I would guess it may have been a bull shark, but. Well, you saw it here, folks. Well, oh, yes, yeah, you saw the <laughs> aftermath. <laughs> At least I'm not bleeding. You need a hug? No, I need a bull spear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted to go back out there and look again. Oh my goodness. Well, Chris, you so, gotta send that to Ben. So send that Ben's the guy. Ben's the guy that told me that I didn't really have to worry about sharks at all. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Come on out here." He said, "He said, bring those anchovies in case we need a snack." Yeah, right. Chris, you and, know what uh, else? What? what was there some joke in here about one less YouTuber? <laughs> <laughs> Did you really say that? Did you say that? <laughs> Later in the day after collecting his thoughts, Ben was able to post the following on Facebook. I'm pretty sure that now I qualify as being a person who's been attacked by a shark. 
just wanted to put a little add-on commentary here. I don't want anybody to have uh, the wrong idea about sharks. Uh, I know the video is very um, uh, kind of sensational, that kind of thing. And of course, sharks can be very dangerous, but they're also just doing like, you know, what they're what they're what instinctually, you know, what they're supposed to do. You know, they uh, they sense blood in the water or. Uh, fish in distress, that kind of thing, and um, you know they do what sharks do. They go after the fish. Uh, I just kind of happen to be at the the wrong place, at the wrong time. There, there are after effects. Uh, it hasn't prevented me from continuing with uh, spear fishing, but I, I am absolutely going to uh, be sure I'm spearing with uh, a buddy. Uh, and I have, um, you know, it's very much on my mind. I feel like I'm watching my back a lot more than uh, than yeah. I was, which, you know, is not a bad thing. No. You know, I, I maybe I got complacent. I, I probably did. I shouldn't have been out there alone in the first place. And maybe I should have, if I was more aware, maybe I would have spotted this shark uh, before spearing the fish. Who knows? Yeah. But yeah. I am more aware now, and I will spear with a buddy. But I will continue spearing for sure. This has been a special report brought to you by Wind Over Water. Please be sure and subscribe and share this with your friends. Also check out Sailboat Story, all on YouTube.